So I'm here representing speech and language therapy. You know, we've already had cuts. We're one of the soft targets in the NHS. Me, my colleagues, and the Royal College of Speech and Language Therapists, we say drop this bill. It's, it's bad for children. In fact, children didn't get a look in. Not until January were they included in this bill. And that doesn't even account for children with speech language communication needs. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about children with autism, with cerebral palsy, with hearing problems. They don't have a voice in this bill. That concerns us. It's bad for services. Our experience so far that long-term planning is impossible. Frontline staff are being cut, while more and more children are being identified as having communication problems. We just can't maintain the quality of our service. If this bill goes through, services will be fragmented, privatised and increasingly complex. The key to working with children with these communication problems is being able to work across professions and across agencies. This, if this bill goes through, that will that'll be impossible. It's bad for staff. Who will we work for? Do I have a job next week? What will my terms and conditions be? These are the fears of speech and language therapists now and will become a reality with the imposition of this bill. I'm passionate and proud about the NHS. I want to remain so. It needs reform, but it does not need this bill. Thank you.